Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan and this is how I see it with Jonathan. So quickly today I would want to discuss something very important with us. I noticed something recently um, as regarding the rich and the poor. You know, in my journey to become a billionaire, I found out certain things that makes the rich different from the poor. And these are things I have subjected myself to, uh, to apply on my journey to becoming a billionaire and i just thought why don't i share this thing with you right okay but before i discuss these things with you if you just joining my youtube channel please do have to subscribe and also hit the notification um button so that whenever it is we have um, new videos coming up you could be the first to be informed then also do well to like comment and share so when i get back from this break i will then tell you what makes the rich different from the poor after this break Welcome back. So very quickly today, I would want to discuss um, what makes the rich different from the poor. If you would ever become rich, one of the things you must seek to do is to understand the rich people, is to understand what makes a man rich. Why is he rich? Right, so I took out my time and I discovered some truths. One of them is his mind. Now, the, the major difference between the rich and the poor is their mind their mind so there is something about the mind so there's this part that says as a man take it so he is now you need to see the way a rich man thinks now a, a rich man is not necessarily rich because of how much he has in his account not necessarily how much because he has in his pocket yeah, those are just fruits of his mind so the first thing that you must understand that differentiates the rich from the poor is their mind their mind the mindset of the poor is quite shallow is very small-minded is he, he, shallow he, he doesn't see things from a bigger perspective you know so so if you would want to be rich tomorrow if you'd want to you know attain a level of wealth then you must ensure that you work on your mind because the mind is one thing that differentiates the rich from the poor. Another thing that differentiates the rich from the poor is their ambition and drive. Yeah, ambition. I prefer I would say ambition, drive, and plans. Right? You see, um, when you ask a poor man what he wants to become, he discover that his ambition is very small. He tells you, okay, I want to probably have a house. I want to you know, rent a bigger apartment. You know, there's this, this shallowness, this small-mindedness you discover when he shares his ambition with you. If there's nothing broad in the way he views life. There's nothing broad in the way he wants life to be for him. Right? So, the ambition... And the drive of the rich is quite very different from that of the poor man. The rich man wants to attain wealth. He wants wealth in a big, you know, in, in a very big way. He wants, you know, the, the ambition. He, he sees himself solving international problems. He sees himself, you know, creating solution to generations. It's not just, but the poor man just tells you, okay, he just wants a salary. He wants, it doesn't mean that those that collect salary are poor people, right? But what I'm saying is that your ambition and your drive speaks for on the kind of person you would end up becoming if you would be rich or if you would be poor. One last thing that differentiates the rich and the poor or from the poor is the risk factor. Risk factor. Yes, the rich people like taking risk. They like they love taking risk because they believe that the way to be to live in a profitable life is by taking risk. But the poor like to they like maintaining the safety zones. They like to ensure they are within the safety zones. You know, they are in their comfort zone. They don't want to take risk they are scared that if they take certain risks they may make losses they may make this and that is why they never make profit that is why they remain small but the rich man doesn't mind losing he's not scared of losing why because he knows that if things go the right way it would end up earning so much right so the risk factor is one other thing you must consider because socially speaking if you would ever become anything big in life then you must ensure you take risk another thing that i believe that i found that, that differentiates the poor from the rich is creativity you see 
The poor wants to do things the way everybody are doing them, right? The poor wants to do things the way everybody is, you know, everybody is doing it, right? Okay, everybody is going this way. This is how they sell. They, they want to go like that. But one thing about the rich people is that they are very creative in the way they approach things. Now, the rich ensures that he wants to do it in a way whereby nobody has ever done it before. He wants to try something new. So he is creative in his in his in the way he approaches life, in the way he approaches his business, in the way he approaches things. He is very creative and. This this is one of the reasons why he stands out. This is one of the reasons why he's different from the poor. The rich are very creative. Why the poor are just stereotyped in the way they approach things. One other thing I believe that also differentiates the rich from the poor is their attitude. Their attitude. Oh, the attitude is everything, right? You see, one thing you would find with the poor is laziness, right? Laziness, indiscipline. You just name it. This negativity, this this complaining, you know, you discover these are the things that are quite associated with the poor man. He's always complaining, he's not just always complaining, he's always blaming, passing blame. These are the attitude of the poor man. You see him arguing about sports, you see him arguing about the country, and he tells you the, the government is doing this. He tries to put the blame to the government, he never takes responsibility, and this all speaks volume of the kind of attitude he has. But look at the rich for there, for instance. Like the rich is one you discover that they take responsibility of their life one the rich is very disciplined the rich is hog tight the rich you know he, 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 his attitude to life is positive he, he maintains a positive attitude he ensures that his joy is maintained he doesn't allow circumstances around him affect his ambition he does not allow circumstances around him affect where he's going to so attitude is one major thing also i believe differentiates the rich from the poor. One other thing I also discovered that the pressure they read from the poor is access. Yes, access, access. I discovered that you will never amount to anything great in life if you lack certain assets. Now, for the rich, the rich are positioned himself in a way whereby he has access to quality relationships and access to quality information. You see, in life, relationship and information are what makes, are what determines how big you will be in life. Now, the rich has learned to position himself whereby he, he has access to quality relationships and quality information. But the poor man, you see, when he's, he's, in, he's, in, he's having issues, there are nobody, there, he doesn't have anybody that will come bail him out. This speaks of the kind of relationships he has. So the relationship and the information, the poor and the rich is exposed to determine their differences, right? So you want to be rich, what kind of assets do you have? What assets do you have to quality relationships? Do you even have any quality relationships? If you find yourself in need of certain amount of money, do you have anybody in your cabal, in your cycle that would bail you out? These are questions you should ask yourself because it's not enough for you to have desires to want to be rich. It's not enough for you to say, I will be rich. No, you must ensure you are applying the right principles. One other thing I also discovered that differentiates the rich from the poor are principles. The rich people are people of principles. They apply certain principles. They know that in order to be rich, they have to sow seeds, they have to give, they have to give back. But the poor only has this, 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 uh, this this nature of always wanting to keep to himself, always wanting to eat and keep. You know, he, he wants to save, wants to keep, wants to save. But the rich man doesn't approach like that way. He sees helping others as a way of going bigger, right? So they apply principles. The rich people are very principled people. They are extremely very principled people. And one last thing I believe differentiates the rich from the poor is what I call. Is it grace now? I would call it grace. I would call it the spirit of wealth. I would call it there. There are so many names for it, right? Now, everybody has different name for this same thing. But one thing is certain: when you ask any rich man, when I mean rich, man, I mean a man that's probably a billionaire or a multi-millionaire. You ask him the source of his wealth, he would tell you this and that. But he always ends up telling you that it is the grace of God. Why? Because you discover that becoming rich or being rich to a level or an aspect, you no, know, to, to 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 a degree, comes by the grace of God. So this is where I will stop my video. The difference between the rich and the poor. But eventually this video was helpful. Please and please, I would like that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, that you like, you comment, and you also share. Being rich is not just an aspiration you you should have. You must ensure you are taking positive steps that will bring you to that destination. 
till we meet again my name is jonathan and this is how i say to jonathan stay blessed